I think when we look at color, especially warm tones, we associate it with positive emotions. A lot of my work has a ton of color in it. The type of art I make is easy to read, it's fun. I like to work with imagery that is a bit nostalgic so people can relate, especially when it comes to Newfoundland imagery. This piece I'm making today is about seasonal affective disorder in Newfoundland specifically. The winters here can get cold and gray and quite dull, and as we all know, quite long. So I'm expressing a light at the end of the tunnel using color and silhouettes. I start with picking out the colors I like, and then I'll work on a sketch or a drawing, converting that in my mind to something that is 3D and layered. When I really dove into paper was when I got a job at a paper shop. So I got to learn and experiment and play with scraps and I got to learn a lot about the background of paper, which made me appreciate it so much more. Paper is a really complex material and you have to watch everything you do. It's a bit like sculpture in a way that if you mess up one little line, sometimes it, it compromises the whole piece and you have to think backwards or mirrored because when you uh, flip it over it's going to be the reverse image from what you've drawn. So it's really challenging which I like about it. Working on a piece such as this which is really complex and takes a lot of time I go into a meditative state where I block out all the noise, everything around me, and it slows my breathing, so it's quite helpful for me to have that time for myself. I love working with imagery that assists and can make people understand mental health a little bit easier, and also it helps the people who are suffering mental health realize that they're not alone and there's other people out there that are experiencing the same things. The best part about paper cutting is in the end when you have to line everything up perfectly and when you stack it and it lines up so nice, it's really satisfying and it makes it all worth it.